This is a CBS 3 Next Weather Storm Alert Day. Here is meteorologist Larissa Abreu. And we are interrupting your programming to bring you the latest. Now, this storm has brought all sorts of issues all morning long across the region. Now, a tornado warning in effect across Cape May County. We're going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see where this tornado threat has been indicated. Now, this is radar indicated, so nothing confirmed as of yet, but there is some spin in the atmosphere, and the system could be rain wrapped. Let's go ahead and put a tracker on this so we can see where this is going and just how quickly it's going to get out of the way and of course what cities are right in this rain wrap tornado the potential for a rain wrap tornado so cedar springs 1143 this is going to be moving into your region as we take a look at ocean city a very populated area this is also going to be moving in closer to 1155 now this tornado warning has been radar indicated which means this cell has the possibility of producing and dropping a tornado. Now, this was one of the concerns with this storm, but this is the first indicated uh, thunderstorm that we have going on, once again, with the possibility of producing a tornado. Now, this is going to stick around this warning at least through around noon, and this is for Cape May, New Jersey. At this time, this is a severe thunderstorm that has capability of producing a tornado, and it was located over Goshen, and that's 14 miles north of Cape May. It's moving northeast at around 15 miles an hour, so it is moving rather quickly, but you can see here uh, we're tracking this not only downpour, but this could be what we call a rain wrap tornado, which is very difficult to see. A couple of things when we have an active tornado warning, it's very important to get in the lowest lying area of your house, whether that is a basement, whether that is the middle of your house, just stay away from windows, away from walls. You want to hurry to the lowest level and you want to get low to the ground. It's very important that when we have these type of, of situations that you abandon a mobile home. Now, this particular area, once again, just 15 miles north of Cape May, this particular area, there are a lot of homes here. Wow, that there there's Here's a live picture of CIO City, and you can see definitely the ominous looking clouds. It would be hard to see just because of how heavy it is currently raining right now. So this is what we call a rain wrap tornado. You can't see it, but it's moving northeast at around 15 miles an hour, and it is with a cell that has capability to drop down a tornado. And that simply means there's rotation in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. And whenever we have these rotations, we also have the possibility to see one of those cells just quickly drop a brief tornado over the area, which is why we do have this uh, tornado warning in effect right now. Once again, until noon, we're going to go ahead and put the tracker on again just to give you times and what areas are of concern. It's important to note that this is moving north and east at around 15 miles an hour. We'll go ahead and put that tracker. And that way, if you are in this tornado's or potential tornado's path, you can certainly heed those advisories, head down to a basement, stay away from windows and away from doors. All right, let's go ahead and talk times. 11.58, it's showing that this cell will be over Ocean City. If that's where you live, if, you, if a loved one lives there, you certainly want to call them, tell them to head down to their basement. If they don't have a basement, stay away from windows and doors. Another great spot, the bathroom, get in to your tub, wear a helmet, you want to protect your head. We head out towards Longport. That's where that cell will be arriving at 12.03 later on this afternoon. This is this warning is in effect until noon and it's moving at a very slow pace. I'm going to go ahead and take the tracker off. We're going to go ahead and zoom on in just to give you a better shot, a better idea of what's going on. And of course, this is live, so I'm going to be explaining to the best of my ability. All right, so here's a look at this. This is what we call a hook echo, and I'm going to go ahead and point it out. This is what we call a hook echo where I just added that arrow, and that's usually where we have wind spinning in the atmosphere. And when we see this, this is a great indication of winds churning as they continue to move up, and these little cells are what are capable of dropping down a tornado at any given time. This right now, a tornado warning in effect for Cape May County. Some of the areas of concern 
are places like Cape May and the city of Cape May itself. But this is moving rather slowly at around 15 miles an hour. And we'll go ahead and put that tracker on again just so you guys can see if you are in the path of this potential tornado. Now, a Cedar Springs, 1148, so just six minutes to act fast as this is heading your way. You want to head down to a basement, away from windows, away from any doors. You basically want to layer yourself. Uh, you want to go into the most interior part of your house and make sure there are many layers between you and the outside. Very important. I know when we say tornado warning, people automatically want to look at what's coming their way, but this could be a, a, just a dangerous situation altogether. A couple notes that we're getting from the National Weather Service. This is located just 15 miles north of Cape May. It's moving at around 15 miles an hour, so it's moving rather slowly, but it is moving places like Beasley Point. It's going to be moving into your region at 1155. And if you're just joining us, a tornado warning has been issued by the National Weather Service. While we do not have any confirmation that a tornado is on the ground, this is radar indicated. And this simply means that the cell has the possibility of producing a tornado. And you can see radar behind me very active at this time. That also means that this is a rain wrapped tornado rain wrap cells so it'll be very very hard to see here's another look this is sea isle city the clouds look very ominous very hard to see it's raining it's coming down pretty heavily out there and we've seen this all day and this was something that was a concern because we knew that there was a possibility to see some churning in the atmosphere and this particular cell did just that now once again if you're joining us there is a tornado warning that's in effect until 12 and this is for k Cape May County in New Jersey. This particular cell rain wrapped, but it is producing heavy rain. There's indication of some spin up, and this is uh, why this tornado warning has been issued, and it is in effect.